Welcome back to Brazen Brits. And you know what they say, new year, new rig. Really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Ooh, I wonder. Ooh, I just wonder. Right, so I'm just kidding, this isn't our new rig at all. We're quite happy with our grand design travel trailer. But <clears throat> the wayward wags, this is Dustin, I'm sure you know. Hey. They are mooch docking at our home base in Florida. Uh, and so uh, we thought we'd give you a bit of a tour of their rig and why I like it more than ours. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing that I immediately love about the rig, and this is the same with most fifth wheels, is that the ceiling is so high. And even though this is actually half a foot wider than our travel trailer, I think. Yeah, like uh, six inches. Yeah. yeah. But it feels way bigger. Um, even though our Grand Design has opposing slides, and this does too, it's the height that makes a difference. And I'm always jealous when I go in fifth wheels due to the height. When I come into a fifth wheel and the ceiling's really high, do you go into like our travel trailer and you're like, whoa. Yeah, it, it feels does a it? lot smaller to us. Even the Class A's. The Class A's are pretty they are, low yeah. ceilings too. But the fifth wheel, yeah, you get the the big open area, which makes it feel like twice as big, even though it's really not. So you first had a Montana. Yeah, that was our first fifth wheel ever. That was the first RV of any kind ever. We had never pulled anything before. Nothing. And then we just up and bought the biggest fifth wheel we could find and figured we'd pull it around, give it a try. Oh man. <laughs> but you're in that for two years? Two years, yeah. Full time living. Yep. And um, then we went to the Alliance uh, two years ago, right at, at Showtime this year. Time for show. Yeah, this time, yeah. This, yeah, two years yeah. ago. And you like it? Love it, way better. Way better than the than the Montana. Really? It, just because the it's the little features, the little things, the attention to detail. That's what the big stuff as far as being able to to pull it, the size, the ambiance, the decorations, the decor, all pretty similar. But the little touches that Alliance does, I'll show you what I'm talking about. That's interesting. Show me what you're talking about. Yeah. Alliance has these drop window frames, so. They lets way more light in. So that opens up the space too. It makes it feel way bigger than it actually is. So not only do you have the ceiling that we just talked about, now you have these drop frame windows because in the Montana, our windows came across here, all the way across even the dining area. And even over here, they were only this high. So you get these extra window spaces on all these windows. It just opens it, opens it way up. One of the other things is if you look down here on the seal of the slide, there was a transition on the Montana between the linoleum and the carpet on this side. It was still pretty flat, but there was that transition. And then over here in the kitchen area where the slide runs here, there was a lip in the Montana. So you was limited on space to walk through here. Me and Leslie couldn't even hardly walk through here and pass through each other without doing the, you know, the little shimmy past each other and stuff. But now because this is a flat and seamless transition between the, the floor base and the slide floor, it makes it feel like a ton bigger in here. Okay, I have a question for you. And I know this is a big difference between Montana, even though your layout is basically the same. Almost, yeah. Rear living, all of that lot. Yeah. You love the fact that the front door is here. Am I pointing? Yeah, front door is here. <laughs> and the, uh, the steps up to the bedroom are over here. Yeah. The, the, most other trailers, they will be like right here. Yeah. So why is that a good thing? We like that a lot better because when you walk into the door, you're not immediately looking into the bedroom. So it feels like that bedroom is now more of a personal space for you. It's not like everybody that comes in immediately turns and can see everything that's going on in your bedroom. So if in the event, in the very unlikely event that something was going on in the trailer <laughs> and somebody walked in, they wouldn't see it. All right. Okay, interesting. That's the only thing. But I mean, that's obviously a big difference. Yeah, I know you but it makes it that. feel like the separation of, of rooms. Whereas on the Montana, it felt like just one big space. Mm. It didn't feel like you had separate, separate areas. And because that whole hallway is on that side, you don't even go and look directly into the bathroom or directly into the bedroom. That whole bathroom entrance and bedroom and everything is on the, the non-living side. So of the one thing I really like here is uh, these doors. Oh, they work well. Yeah, they slide pretty. pretty they smooth. do work well. I think this is the biggest RV bathroom or shower even that I've ever seen. Yeah. Have you seen any showers bigger than this? I don't know. Maybe the one in the. Uh, there was a couple of years ago we walked through one at the show. It was like a handicap one. 
It had a pretty big shower. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. But other yeah, than that, yeah. no, I don't think so. And you have, so that you have a washer and dryer in the back, but you, it came washer dryer prepped, sorry, in the front. Yeah. In the front cap, there's a washer dryer, right? Yeah, but it's a little bit different than the Montana, because the Montana, they were stacked, and on right. this Alliance, they're one on one side, one on the other. Oh, really? So we were having a discussion uh, amongst a few friends, and it was how many pillows do you have on your bed? So just to confirm, we always thought it was weird if it was an odd number, um, but I can tell you that Dustin and Leslie have seven pillows on their bed. So that's an odd number and a lot of pillows. I think we have four, me and Natalie, we have two each, that's it. We're very, we're very traditional. Yeah. We don't have that extra decorative one or anything, yeah. just four. So uh, yeah, leave in the comments how many pillows you have on your bed. So people who don't know about RVs always say, why would you get a fifth wheel over a travel trailer or the other way around? So for us, it was because uh, the travel trailers are cheaper. That was the whole reason. So uh, we bought ours used uh, and yeah, it was just a lot cheaper at the time for an equivalent. So we have the reflection, grand design reflection and the equivalent fifth wheel uh, was like 20 grand more. So you're paying 20 grand for about two feet of height inside. And so other than the height, the uh, the best thing that everyone who has a fifth wheel or even people who have had a travel trailer and a fifth wheel say is that towing it is so much nicer. It's just more smooth, it's more comfortable. Uh, the pivot point is right over the, the rear axle of the truck, so it turns better, there's less sway, everything like that. I've never towed, towed a fifth wheel. I have around the block, that's it. Literally, I did like quarter of a mile, but I have never um, actually towed a long distance. But you've never towed a travel trader, so yeah. you wouldn't know either. That would probably feel really weird. I would probably feel like it's coming off the back of the truck. Because <laughs> I've heard that there's a lot more movement on the travel trailers. Yep. So I think that I would just be like going 40 miles an hour, going, oh, White knuckle. Gonna come on hooked. It's gonna, <laughs> really? Yeah, I just feel like the tail was wagging the dog. Another big benefit, I just thought of another big benefit for, uh, for a fifth wheel, storage. Okay. Oh yeah, we do have a lot more storage than a travel trailer, that's for sure. We sure do. We have one little bit of storage in the uh, front bay, that's it. Yeah, we have, not only do we have the big pass-through up front, but this, especially this floor plan, is just chock full of little mm. hiding places and storage. The armrests, the little built-ins next to the armrests over here on the couch are all storage. Storage behind the fireplace, in the bedroom, the little nook lifts up, um, there's little uh, hiding places right beside the bed, little nooks. There's just there's just little storage places all over this place. Yeah, I have noticed that. I really like the one over here by the coffee bar thing. Yeah, there's just it's a nice touch. Like just having a little a little shelf there is good. And I notice there's there's a lot of that around here. The problem is you get all these little storage places and you put little crap in there and then you forget where you put it all. You know you got it here somewhere because <laughs> this is. This is the only thing you got, so it's here somewhere. But finding it's a whole other. That's place. true, Dustin. I have to ask. <laughs> yeah. Is this because we're the only people who have sent you this, or because we're the most important, or have you just put it up there because you knew that I was doing this? I don't know, honestly. Leslie put that up there, and I have no idea. When did she put it up there? I don't know what her what her motive was, but she put it up there like the day after we got it from you guys. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's been up there since since we got it. So. I like to think we're the only people who matter. <laughs> and if you don't watch the wags, don't forget to go and check them out. Uh, but they travel full time with their bearded dragon, Scout. I'm gonna be honest, Scout's really the only reason people watch the channel. <laughs> Thank you, Dustin, for giving me a tour. Yeah. And letting me hang no out problem. for a Thanks bit. Thanks for letting us crash. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so at least yeah. I could do is to walk you through it. <laughs> That's true. Like stay in your <laughs> driveway. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, uh, hopefully that was informative for everyone. So you really like your alliance. You're very happy with it. Love Two it. years you've had it. Yeah. Very few problems. You had one issue, I think. Yeah. Which was... Very minor, easy to fix. Alliance yeah. always takes care of us when we have an issue. Nice. Yeah, really good. Okay, cool. Well, uh, we will. You'll be able to see Dustin and Leslie at the Tampa RV show. We will be there too. If you haven't checked out the wags, go and check them out. We will leave a link below. We're going to leave a video up here. Uh, that we think you might enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you'd like to come to Brazil and support a couple of tits, hit the join button. We hope you had a fantastic New Year's Eve yesterday and that the rest of the year is gonna be awesome. We'll see you next week.